Hello and welcome to another game of Hearthstone. Let's see, we got Brucan, choose an element, call upon that element, or Gale Wing. Choose a new flight path, combine it, and if you get a bonus, we have Beast, Elementals, Mechs, Rocks, and Quill Boards. You know what? Let's do some Gale Wing. And into the match we go. Ooh, Dancing Daryl and Fungomancer. I love my Murloc boys. That does seem like Murlocs will be very contested though because of him. Let's see. Choose a new flight path, complete it to get a bonus. What do we have? In one turn, give your less minion to two. In turn two turns, get two gold. In three turns, discover a minion of your tier. Let's go ahead and go with the extra gold. That'll be helpful. And uh, we'll go ahead and do a surf and surf right here. Which is a strong level one card and pretty good in most matchups. And the match we go, we have Rakora. Who has a micro mummy, but I'm pretty sure I beat that. And by beat that, I mean, uh, lose to it. Oh my god. The passive, dude. Oh my gosh, that's pretty strong. Two damage to my face, and we moved around two. We'll drop a Murloc wave, and then we'll go to level... Two there, there we go. Surf and turf, blah, blah, blah. None of these are worth saving. On to round three. We'll be facing off against Sire Denethrius. What do you have, man? What are you running? He's running some mechs, it looks like. Oh my god, all these mechs. Easy cleanup, though, and we actually trade very efficiently. We'll get some damage on him. Looks like he has a couple of quests going his way. Three damage to the face, and we should be getting extra gold next round, which will be pretty helpful. Uh, anything of importance? Ooh, we do find a Yorel. We also get a Crackling Cyclone. Let's go ahead and grab that. There we go. Uh, we'll go ahead and roll for now. Oh, that seems pretty nice. Roll for now. Any doubles or triples coming for us? Not really. A couple of quill boards, though. Good starter kit. Let's go ahead and put this on top of this fella. And then we'll choose for a new flight path. In one turn, you're less moving into two. In three turns, discover a minion of your tier. Let's go ahead and go with the uh, Eastern Plague Lands and play around that. Probably going to try and force to a higher level. I've been trying to go to fives and six quicker in this meta, and it seems to be working out quite well for me. All right. Into the matchup we go. We have some elementals here from Rockmaster Voon. Oh, we easily beat this, so. Uh, hello? There we go. Buff across the board. And just like that, we put some damage on his uh, face. And we can tech up. Bringing him down to four. I'm actually at the point here where I might want to consider taking all the way. Yeah, none of these options really make sense to me. Like, I could go for double micro mummies and try to find a triple. But I think I'm going to go ahead and annoy that. What do we have here? Whenever you buy a tavern spell that costs three or more, get an exact copy of it. Ooh, that's kind of exciting. At the start of your turn, gain one gold. At the start of your turn, cast five random tavern spells. I am going to do the untamed sorcery. Cast 16 spells. Okay, can do. Let's go to five. Give a minion uh, stats equal to your tiers. Go ahead and pick that up. I'm probably going to keep the Cyclone around for a while. It's got some strong cases in the late game. And just having extra shields is always good for us. So we'll go ahead and start casting that. And we'll throw that on top of it. And the good part, too, is my Surf and Surf are constantly putting spells out as well. So that's good. You can also use, like, coins and whatnot, too, to finish off this quest. So don't be afraid of it too much. Ah, time to fight Thick Boy Fungomancer. Thick Boy Fungomancer, what you got going for you? Ooh, he's also going up. Uh, wait a minute. Why does he only have two cards? Oh, I see. He's putting a lot of health bars in. Okay, that's not too bad. Especially if you're putting in characters that can scale up in the future. I don't hate that too much. Five damage to the face. Bring him down to one in armor. Ooh. This is always a fun play. Uh, we do want to do more spells. Stats equal to your tier. We'll grab that for now. Uh, we can play the Cyclone game. Actually. Toss it on the field. Get 1-1 one, one on the elementals. Um, this is mostly just to get more stats on this. Didn't really hit the way I want to, though. We'll keep growing him as much as we can. And we're filling out our board here. 4 out of 16 stacks. And uh, I think that's it for now. Next turn, we will get a minion around our tier. So I do wish I was level 4, but we'll go ahead and find a level 3 here. And then hopefully next turn, we can start pushing to higher levels. Facing off against Sylvanas Windrunner. Currently running a bag of mixed minions. Still on level 2 at the moment, which is a bit curious. Looks like she's trying to force Beast here. If I can earn the win here, I'll be in a really good spot. But there is a lot of chum to get through. Good hit so far. Come on, Cyclone. 
And all said and done, we actually get bopped out, but we are at level three and moving towards level four already, so I don't hate that too much. And we got just a little bit more armor to give away. All right, what do we discover here? Uh, we do find another party elemental. I'll pick that up. Uh, which will help me expand upon that cyclone here. Let's go ahead and cast that. We do have a taunt available to us. However, I don't have a taunt that I want to spin yet. Or force yet. Let's go ahead and grab this fortify just so I have the spell sitting on me. In one turn, give your less minion to two. Get two gold. I like the two gold instead. Let's go ahead and go up to level six. I'm trying to think here. Do I want to spend money here? Nah, not really. We roll forward. Divine Shield. Whenever a Blood Gem is put on this, play a Blood Gem on any different friendly minion. Ooh, that's actually a bit of a nice starter kit there. Let's go ahead and get that. We'll put the uh, Geomagus Rugug, Rugug on the field, and then we'll get the uh, Banner Boar as well. We'll put the stats on the Cyclone, we'll put the stats on the Rugug, and then hopefully we'll get some stats going our way. And if we can stumble upon a triple in the next couple of rounds, we are sitting pretty. Playing against number one, which is currently uh, Tower Toppler Reno. How's he looking? What level is he at? He's at level two. A lot of people saying at level two right now. Very curious. We had a decent hit in. Cyclone starts to clear up what they can. Ooh, looks like they're going to trade out pretty decently. A couple of one drops, uh, which I'm hoping my low health minions do not collide with, but that is not going well for me. Ah, oh, bummer on those rolls. All said and done, we are going to be taking a chunk of change in damage and dipping into our health pool. So now we got to start staying a little bit more focused and, of course, not putting ourselves in a bad position. But with that being said, that was the guy in first place. And they are on a lower tier than we are. I don't mind it too much. Let's go ahead and grab our Geomagus Ruga. Here we go. Pick that up. Get our Banner Boar. Uh, do I want the bacon? I don't think I want the bacon. I think I'm going to hold off on the bacon. Let's go ahead and sell that. I'm going to get rid of Yorel here. Let's roll. Many of the tavern have one, two. Let's scrub that. We're trying to play as many spells as we can. Let's roll. Hopefully we get a one drop. We do get a one drop. Let's play that spell. Give it many one, two, and taunt. If already has taunt, remove it. Sure. We'll put Taunt on this guy. Make him nice and big and juicy. Um, feed this here. And then we'll keep the crab coming in. And then that should start to grow that overall. We do have a couple of elementals in front of us. Do I want to consider playing it here for some stats? Not really. Is it worth freezing? One, two. I don't think so. Next turn we get gold. Yeah, I think we're going to let this roll. I actually value a triple more than trying to force stats on elementals here. Uh, especially because I have my Dancing Barn Stormer, which is something I don't really want to get big. I want to kill that off because I'm not sticking with elementals all the way. I'm looking like I might do a bit of a Menagerie comp, honestly. All right. Fungal Mancer once again. Earlier, we did beat him just barely, I believe. If memory serves correctly. Nice. Big trades here. I am missing a little firepower and health right now, to be quite frank with you. And that is very uh, telegraphed at this moment. He was on three. And we're going to take a big chunk of damage now. All right. Probably got to stop the bleeding here soon. Down to 15 HP. What we got for our Gale Wing? Uh, in turn one, give yourself a minion two two, and three turns discover a minion you here. Let's go ahead and go for some stats. I really need to stay alive here and stop uh, ending, if you will. Um, get a blood gem. Let's go ahead and play that out and get rid of this fella here. Give a minion plus four attack. We'll pick that up. Help out with the firepower here. Let's roll one more time. I'm gonna try and play to get a little bit more stabilized here. This whole lobby is staying kind of low on levels at the moment, and I'm pretty far ahead of them, so I need to make sure that I continue that. Uh, some of the highest health Murloc pass. I don't really have any mechs that I want to build up yet. At the end of your turn, give your minions one one for each magnetization that they have. Does that affect the same one? Like, can I buy this and throw that here? I actually haven't played much mech this season. I don't know if it's any good. Let's play that. Grab two gold. Play that for one coin. We're up to 16 on our cast so far. Let's play that. Plus three health and taunt. Let's feed into this guy, get him nice and juicy, shall we? And let's roll one more time. Um, I say we sell this thing. 
put this in the field because I want the stats. And then grab this for the extra gold next turn. And put ourselves in a scenario where we can buy a lot of spells and then finish this off. And then hopefully we can start scaling. All right, we're against Sylvanas here, who's running Quillbores, total of four, and she has been hitting kind of hard. We'll see how this goes for us. All right, time to face off. Five members on the board here. Very tanky, and they do have Divine Shields, which is terrifying for me. Decent trade for us there. We have cleared up the Divine Shields, but I am worried about the firepower missing here. Couple of massive hits. And I'm starting to doubt my positioning. A lot of damage coming our way. 2, 4, 6, plus 3, 9. Bringing me down to 6 HP. Ooh. And we're facing off against Daryl here. He's currently at 3 and doing some decent damage. All right, then. Choose a minion. Give all minions of that type 2-2. Two, two. Uh, not really the greatest for us. But I think at this point, we got to pick whatever we can here just to survive. Let's go ahead and grab the Natural Blessing. We'll feed that on the Cyclone. Get us some stats. Another spell that we can cast here now. Blood Gem to feed here, which will help with the stats. Uh, let's go ahead and roll. Really good to here. Give your minion stats equal to your tier. Okay, let's feed that. 16 out of 16, so that's good. At the start of each turn, cast five Ram Tavern Spares. Okay, so we'll need those come in. And turn two is gain two gold and three turns cover a minion. All right, we're going to commit to the Eastern Plague Lands. We either win now or we lose. Your bludgeons give an extra plus one attack right now. Summon a beast. Uh, let's roll. Still open for that triple. And I'll grab any Magnus that I can here. Discover a Battle Cry minion. We're holding on these. We're chilling. Cyclone, possible triple in the future. Sure, we'll grab both those. And freeze our one gold. All right, wish me luck. Into our magic go. Playing against elementals, which should have some high health minions, but hopefully they're not too scaled up yet. Looks like he does have a couple of divine shields himself. I will get the winning trade here and one HP to survive on that one. I'm a little nervous right now. I don't want to get knocked out early. <laughs> okay, microbots coming out. A total of six of them. Good hit. Microbots clears that up. And it looks like we should be able to walk away with the dub here. And we are still in this game with 6 HP. A total of 6 damage going to Daryl's face. Easy hits. Fungal Mancer's currently at 4 and taking some damage. Let's grab our Cyclone here. And now we get our... Oh no! Increase the gold, a eight taunt. All right then, all right. At the end of your turn, get magnets. We need to play this for sure. We're playing around these magnets as much as we can. Um, Let's see, do we want Bran? I think Bran would be helpful, but not at the moment. Um, Let's go ahead and grab him, because there are like one, two, three different major minions I could use stats off of. Let's grab him for now. Go ahead and play our stat here, continue to go that route, and that'll be the end of this turn. All right. Well, I was expecting a little bit more, but we'll take the stats that we got, and now we're just going to believe in RNG Jesus. All right, Mr. Fungomancer, treat me nice. Can't really afford to take too much damage. The good news is our stats continue to go on the minions that I care about. I need to get rid of these three at some point, and this one as well. Okay, so Murlocs can be kind of obnoxious. And these ones are looking a little obnoxious. They may have gotten too big already for me to handle. A couple of decent trades. Okay. Good trade so far. Six damage on that one. Comes in with a hit. And that one survives. And luckily our magnet is the one that's keeping us alive here. And hopefully we knock him out. We sure do. 13 damage. And Fungal Mancer is no more. Goodbye, Mr. Murloc. And there we go. Discover a death rattle minion. Trousers, one, two. Gain one gold. Oh my god. Believing the RNG is really working here. Let's grab our Cordatron. Throw that in there. Uh, I think I'm at a point where I can commit to going to level five. Let's feed this in here, too. Uh, get a random tavern spell when dying. Let's go ahead and commit to level five. We do have a little bit of gold, and I can roll one more time here. Let's go ahead and roll one more time. Uh, okay, that was a triple I was looking for. Well, both of these are triples that I'm looking for. Uh, you're in effects turn trigger twice. 
Ooh, that's actually really good for us. I'm gonna go ahead and freeze this and pray I can get both of these. If I can't get them, whatever. Let's play that. This will give me additional stats off the uh, banner boards, as well as the stats here. And then your turn, give you minus one one for each magnetization this has. This should keep growing. Let's play our blood gem here. Um, and I am truly considering selling all three of these and grabbing this so I can get two battle cries. Let's go ahead and play that. Let's go ahead and commit. Let's put that in the field, grab this guy, play that. What do we get? <laughs> That's so funny that we got the party elemental. Has one one for each one that you have played in the past. That's fine. Toss that on the field. Let's play that, play that. Toss that, toss that, play that. And then we'll go for the utility drone. There we go. Perfect. This should fill out my board. This now allows these two to feed into each other. Um. Yeah, I think that's fine there too as well. Uh, let's feed that out like that. There we go. Awesome. And then uh, we'll go ahead and let our stuff grow and continue to play cards. We are facing off against Rokara, who continues to grow up the attack on her uh, minions. Ooh, we also got two magnetics. Nice. They give one one. How are you looking? I think my stats are much better than theirs. It will come down to the death rattles. Do we have enough firepower to kill the hungry Snapjaw? We sure do. Yes, hit my big minions. I like seeing that. This is where it gets really annoying. Is these little mech horses. <laughs> Especially if like they can drop a uh, banana yama or slamma, whatever it's called. Your yeah, friendly minion of each time three three. This thing. Look at this thing, dude. The Snapjaw, man. I think it's going to be okay, though. Although it's eating all my minions. There we go. Oh my god, that Snapjaw got every single spawn. But well, luckily we still knock him out. Four damage plus the five that we're at in our tier. Brings him down to four HP, and we're still alive. Uh, let's see here. Your death spells trigger on extra time. Um, I don't have very many death spells that I care about. Uh, let's... Give your other Murlocs 3-3, three, three, not running Murlocs. Then your turn, gain one attack, repeat for each card you've played this turn. Uh, I guess I'll grab this just in case I want to transition to it. Let me have this guy. Please let me have that guy. Don't you dare get rid of that guy. Don't you dare. Okay, we're fine. We got him. Whoo! All is well. So now we have our triple. Let's toss that on the field and see what we can get here on tier 6. Uh, Divine Shield, whenever this attacks, get a random tavern spell. I actually really like this card a lot. And I can start magnetizing it if I want to, which I am building into. Let's go ahead and pick that up. The Whirling Last of Matic, huh? Okay, let's pick that guy up. Grab our Cyclone. We'll grab our Living Constellation. Um, and then let's go ahead and pay this. Um, let's go ahead and start getting some gold here. And then I can roll one more time, I believe. Uh, there's another brand. Let's go ahead and start feeding this guy into our stats, I believe. Hang on. There's a lot on my board right now. Okay. Magnets. Magnets. Uh, get friendly minion of each type. 3-3. Three, three. Feed that in. Uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this fella and start playing the battle cries. Although, is that the right call? Ground that. Bring brand down. Feed this into that guy. Uh, and then I think what we'll do is keep Bran active on the field. Play this. Let's roll one more time. Trigger friendly battle cry. None of these seem to really help me out. All right, we're good. We do have a lot of weird divine shields, but that's okay. All right, got another magnetize coming in. Let's see what our opponents are building up. A few Murlocs here. Got a spell. Choose a minion, give all minions with that share 2 2. That'd be good on my magnet characters. Yeah, and I don't want to like call it too early, but I think we've managed to get through on our build. I gotta be really careful with the amount of cards that I have in my hand, as those can be a deterrent in the future and potentially get me in trouble, right? Let's cover a minion if everyone's coming time. Okay, another magnet. Love it. Higher tavern cards. 8-8. Eight, eight. 
three gold next turn if we win. Uh, trigger all friendly death rattles has one two for each tavern spell you've played. We are playing against a bot that has been knocked out. I'm going to go ahead and go to level six and use that advantage. We'll go ahead and continue feeding our magnets into our whirling attacker. Still a random minion from the tavern. Uh, to be quite frank, none of these really matter to me. Let's go ahead and roll. Uh, let's go ahead and play a steal at random. Okay, still one that can sell. Uh, feed that into our magnets. Magnets continue to grow. Blood gem on this fella. As he's our main focus. Remove a minion stats. And give it to a random friendly minion. Ooh. Uh, I might actually want to pick that up and hold it for later. Let's go ahead and grab that. Put this on the field. Get a random mecha demon. Those magnetize, right? I actually want to keep this. Uh, let's go ahead and sell what we don't need and just roll. Play really greedy here. Nothing of importance there. Ooh, the walking fort. One, two, three, four taunts. That actually might be really good for us. Let's sell this guy. Let's sell Bran. Let's sell our death rattle as well. Uh, let's grab the walking fort to help us scale. Toss that on the field. Uh, I don't really care about Bran anymore with that trade. Let's go ahead and sell him. Just looking for triples at this point. And let's go ahead and put our Avenge for get a random Mecha Demon. Put him on the far right. Let's try and make him as safe as possible by feeding him over here. Cool. And I think we're looking pretty good. And then as soon as I find like another Scaler as well, I'll probably sell this Banner Boar or find another way to taunt. Uh, and take those stats and throw them onto another minion. But these, I believe the Mecha Demons, should give me extra stats and some Magnetize as well. So they should be pretty fun to run. Uh, okay, we're facing off against a, a ghost, but we shouldn't die. With that being said, I'm using the word shouldn't because there are times when I randomly die. Uh-huh. Dude, what a fun comp. I don't think I've, I've played a comp like this before. How everything just kind of feeds into each other. Yes, grow my minions, grow. I do need more minions to die here, though. I'm not getting very many Avengers, which is uh, saddening. Well, you hate to see that. You sure do. We're too strong. All right, 15 damage to the face. And now we are in the top four, so this is officially a winning game. Ooh, we find a uh, Noya module. 7-7 seven, seven until next turn. Discover a Death Rattle minion. We'll take it. Combat plus three gold. We'll take that. Our Anoya module. We'll take this and feed this into this. I want that to have a Divine Shield set. And minion stats to 20-20. Uh, sure. We'll grab that and probably feed it into this guy. Make him still become useful. Uh, three turns come a minion of your tier. Sure, we're at level six, so we can try to find one of those. Although, I think the game will be over by then. Not to sound too confident. Get a random magnetic mech. Then your turn affects twice. Yes, we want that. Absolutely, we play that right away. Minions 1-1. One, one. Discover a death riddle minion. Uh, none of these matter, so we'll scrap that. Keep rolling. Trigger a friendly minion's battle cry. Uh, I don't have one that is useful here. Roll again. Magnets for sure with no taunts or anything associated with it. Better crimes trigger twice. Roll again. Play two bludgeons on a friendly minion if it steals all bludgeons from its neighbors. Sure, let's grab that. Be that there. There we go. Get that nice and juicy. We also have the potential to pick up a triple on that, so I might want to freeze for it. It's only one gold laying around, so let's go ahead and consider that. And see how this goes. We are facing off against Sylvanas, who are currently getting bopped, sitting on four rank right now. And with building quill boards, which is interesting to see. Let's see if we're strong enough to be her. Alright, big stats going through. The walking fort's helping out as well. So we're getting 4-4 four, four per match on our taunts. Yeah, I think as long as I like don't have really ineffective trades, we easily win this. Good hits, good hits. Divine shields. Waiting for my Avenge to connect, which I don't think is going to happen. I actually am not getting any Avenge procs off of this, which is funny. 
I might just want to sell it. 33 to the face. And we are now in a position where we can get first place if all goes well. Uh, we lost our potential triple. Wait, wait, let me have this. Let me have this triple. Don't you dare take that away from me. Okay, that's fine. Okay, let's pick up our triple here. Uh, we want to take this opportunity to get rid of cards that we don't care about. Let's go ahead and get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. Refresh all the tavern spells with spells. Absolutely. More spells, better. Play that. Discover a death rattle. Give a minion 2 2. And effects trigger twice. Uh, 2 gold. Trigger a friendly battle cry. Play that. Play that. Uh, let's keep looking. Ooh, a triple on the walking fort? Oh my god. RN Jesus. Is being way too kind for me at the moment. Uh, it doesn't really matter because I can't really use these. What are you playing? Murlocs? It might be worth it for me to take the Zappy Boy and play him. Uh, let's go ahead and pick him up. I'm probably going to sell this guy. Let's roll one more time. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and sell this fella. Put Zappy Boy on the field. Toss down the field. Let's get our positioning set up correctly. Tier 6 minion. What do we find? Ooh, a gas coiler. Is the gas coiler better? Grab the gas coiler because I like that card in general, but I don't even want to play it. Foe Reaper. Choose a minion with refresh to the tavern with minions of its type. Ooh, I might freeze that just in case we lose. I don't think we will. But it is something to consider here in the future. Uh. All right. Yeah. I think we play it out and see how it goes. Wish me luck. Oh, two. Oh, I should have given that 2 2 to him. Should be okay, though. All right. He has a lot of cards in his hands, so we need to be careful, uh, especially because of this guy right here. There is a world where he can pull in a really big card. Yep, there it is. The Murloc special. Oh my god, this thing has 500 HP. Jeez Louise. Yeah, we might be screwed. Let's see how it goes. Maybe it won't be game ending. I might need a poison for that one. 12 damage. What's that card worth? Six? Ooh, I think it's game ending. Unless he's not at a higher... Yeah, that's game ending. 12 damage, one more. RN Jesus has failed us, but we did our best. Thank you all for watching Hearthstone. As a reminder, my sub -a will be beginning on April 13th if you guys want to come hang out, celebrate uh, my birthday, and then, of course, video games, as we always do every single month. Until next time, thanks for watching, and I'll see you around.